Hello, Cobrats, and welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I'm Chocolate Tamer, just doing my usual janitorial stuff here on the file select screen. Copy the previous day to the third one, and then get a duplicate of the current day of exploration into the first couple ones. So, last time we went back into the Garden of Hope unexpectedly because Louie, oh boy, we're saying the name officially now instead of fake Olimar. Decided to steal our juice and do a little explosioning and also steal the rubber ducky and go off into the Garden of Hope, wherever he may be. And this time, it's time to find him after we check in with everything. With the addition of these blue Pikmin, we can now confirm that there are five varieties of Pikmin. The trends that they appear to evolve and handle different environments. And the army of Pik- You two talk too much, let's go. <laughs> Captain Charlie always gets interrupted. It looks like the Pikmin left on the ground develop over time. Indeed, not necessarily the most uh, pertinent thing to do because there's always plenty of nectar to get. And you can also do the spring. Best course of action, make sure no Pikmin. Interesting myself, I do stuff. <laughs> Charlie always getting interrupted, let's see. Why do you think this Pikmin carry those yummy fruits back to the ship for us rather than eating them? They seem to gain nourishment from pellets and native life forms, not interested in fruit. Unless it's kind of fruit-tastic enemy body inside, I don't know. Wouldn't be me on this day. Quite an awful predicament, I was smiling about it for some reason. Trying to see the other thing. Pikmin so brave and loyal. Tugging my heartstrings. <laughs> Man, always just get to briefly see everything about Charlie being said. And of course, food. What about family or friends? I'll just pretend I didn't say anything, Alf. Trying to see if there's some interesting other stuff. Food prices. Overpopulation. Yeah, that's part of it. Awful lot of planning. That's a, yeah, basic lack of planning, as the uh, voice acting narrator talked about. Any more about the origin of the Drake? No, I guess not. Even though I could just keep on a. Read it. Like the captain, for instance, being a target. I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Another food crisis. There's plenty of uh, checking in to do. I'm just trying to see maybe one more thing. <coughs> Bickering at the office or something. Wayne Pikmin, not very great for combat and everything else. Alright, no origin story for the Drake. I'll just say it's based off Alf's grandfather and wants to make him proud or prouder. Brittany would say, is that even a word? And Alf is like, yes, it is, and yes, I will make him prouder. Yeah. That's how it all works. Yeah, I was trying to skip through to see if I can find something about it. And now that we're about three minutes into this, we're finally starting off. And we got a rainy day. Very fitting for things that are going to happen. A very glum time that we need to be prepared for fruit collection. Alright, weird numbers I'm going to get. I'm going to go for two yellows, ten rots. And then as for wings, we're going to get a whole heckin' uh, 72 of them. And then 15 blues. Alright. You'll see my reasoning for all these numbers being the way they be. Any leaf dudes? I guess not. We're just gonna go ahead and go kablammy right there. Just for some nectar. Yeah, kind of going autopilot because of how I played everything. Let's see, we're gonna... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, another one, I guess. Right there. To get this a-going. And then, I'm gonna toss the rest of them over this little teacup. There's like a little hidey hole at the bottom, but I don't think I'm gonna go into it. Not a mural there. You think there would be the appearance of how it is. But then Alf, what you're gonna do is, I guess you're just gonna automate a few feet. Well, I guess there's still some blues to pick right there as well, if needed. But what Brittany's gonna do, she's gonna toss the Captain Charlie and all his blues over here, even though it were done, been her blues before. Gonna get everybody together. I'm not gonna do so much yet. There's somebody waiting in the wings for danger. All right, get all you guys and we're gonna Take these blues because we still gotta carry this little fruit around. Uh, yeah, in practice, I would have to like still go beyond the bamboo gate and get a hold of it on the other side, but not so problematic here. And hey, we got a flowered blue. I'm gonna go ahead and grab you, I guess. Oh yeah, that's why I couldn't grab so many of them. I guess that blue is just gonna chill with me. I'm gonna bring Alf all the way here to this electric wall. Get the yellows working on that. Then Charlie. You have all the wings with you, and you're waiting in the wings for battle with the peckish aristocrab. He's gonna dismiss, and is he gonna try a little crushing? Uh oh. Uh, I might do a day restart. I don't know. Let's see about it. Last uh, three wings. Yeah, we're going a little bit slow with this. Um, I'm gonna give it a brief restart. Sorry if that seems a little meta for y'all. <laughs> now let's try this again while I automated Brittany right to where the bridge is gonna be starting. Let's see if we can handle these guys better. Come on. I guess I'll roll with a bunch of if I lose three again. Oh man, yeah. Now we're going too well. He's trying to crush everybody. This Pegasus Arista Crab. Obviously, you want to watch out for the pincer. And there we go. Oh well. We'll build back our blues and wings better a bit more eventually. Even though we only lost wings there. Just the words that I meant to say. Alright, we got the five rocks over there building all that stuff. In fact, 
while Alf is still moving about. Getting some fruit recovered, that tomato-ish thing. Here at last, over. Get a little thing over there. And I guess you'll, you can just chill by the base. Actually, no, I'll just bring it right there. Get your data file. We're gonna swarm you guys over there. And by the time we reach over here, they should be just finishing. And now Alf, you don't have to worry about anything over there, so it's gonna save me quite a bit of time on that. And that's for Charlie. Everybody's digging well enough and getting some automation going on. Just gonna do like a couple rots at a time right there. And how's everybody else doing? Alf is just making his way around. I see him swiveling around on that their map. Definitely getting all this built up. Watching everything. I could like put some wings on there, like get some preliminary movement going on. Also, get this a little faster as well. And like that. I'm gonna toss you into the hole. Then how are you doing? You're already about to where you need to be. Are y'all coming out of the hole yet? Not yet. <laughs> Alright, we're kind of at a weird little throttle-necking, bottle-necking time here. Throttling. All those fun, different word things going on. Then get you a couple of peeps together, and uh, it's not quite done. Yeah, it's just doing the bullet do because it's done over here. <laughs> That'd be crazy if it was done with the electric wall already. Everybody else, gonna... Oh no, I'm wasting time by walking over here instead of munching everybody up. Yeah, <laughs> I was a little bit too close to where they got a bit affected there. Uh, seven, because of the five that were on the fruit. I could have some working on the uh, burgeoning spider wart. We already have three sprays for what is coming up right here. Let's be ready for it. Hmm, I wonder what the heck could be going on right here. So this is where that signal was coming from. Let's be prepared for it and toss some rots at this very big old crystal boy. Let's be ready. Also, not skip any cutscenes that may happen. I don't know why there would be a cutscene going on right here. Oh man, a little stalky thing has popped out. One could even say it's an eye stalk. Feed me! Very creepy, come on to me my brethren children. And actually I did make it a 73 wings because of that extra blue I had to pluck, pluck that I forgot about. This right here is Quagmire, or the uh, Quaggle Mire Clops. Our boss of the day, a very big boy indeed. Definitely one of the bigger bosses in the Pikmin games. Uh, already losing a lot of wings right there, but it's fine as long as I don't get down like the 60s or something. If I eventually beat this guy, which I hope I do, I'm gonna have the wings carry its body. And now it's all happening there. Now attack while you have a chance, even though I'm just gonna have Brittany go over there. I'm wasting time. Alright, let's do this. Stop wasting time. Still gotta even break up the crystal thing. I don't like the look of that thing. Here comes its tongue. Gotta watch out for it. Oh no. It's uh, not good. Let's see if I can get it before they die. Come on, go, 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 go. And they're dead. Okay, that was a few uh, rocks that I wouldn't have preferred to happen. Oh boy. And um, I think before things get crazy, I'm gonna... Well, for one, get everybody out of the way. I might actually reset. I recovered a data file as I get all this checked out. And what the heck is this? What is that? The Hokitate ship? That's how stuff works. Indigenous life. All right. I'm gonna look at our information. Not for the Scornets and Scornet Maestro, but for the Quaggle Myrclops. Throw it off balance and knock it over. Shatter the crystal and focus your attacks. Yep, the idea was to uh, make it lose its balance with at least one leg, preferably for saving time. Curse that Hokitate ship on journal entry number one. It may once have been a top-of-the-line vessel, but it's now an insult to my piloting. Can't wait to pay off that debt and get back my beloved SS Dolphin. But that means I need to find something really valuable before I return home. Indeed, a little bit of treasure. Always getting stuck on this planet. Let's read this. The Pikmin Song. When you take 20 of each type of Pikmin out of an expedition, or out on one, an expedition rather than expedition or whatever I said very stutterishly. They'll sometimes sing a cheerful tune as this non-cheerful tune is happening, even though the boss music is pretty fun. Elite. I tried to sing along once, and they all went silent. Guess they didn't appreciate my singing anyway, so I'll have to practice more during tomorrow's shower. But don't bring any non-blue Pikmin in there, because that'll be a dangerous situation. Alright, tremendous sniffer. Big ol' nose of Auntie B. Everything is like her. She must be a very fruity individual. Computer supplied insect condo, the blonde imposter, that's not quite the other one. Where are your legs, Miss Fauna? Portable sunset. Kind of the sunset tomato and the seed hive. And that's about all we got for now, even though we still got more in the uh, Piclopedia. Oh man, kind of wasting time a little bit. Uh, and here he goes with a big old rear and stomp. I'm going to try to do this fight, even with the little bit of losses I've had so far. In fact, I could spray before we even get to the focus point of the damage, even though it's fine right now. Make sure none of them are in drowning mode, or even getting squished by it just falling over. Man, is that only the amount of rots I have? Four of them? After some got licked by the licky tongue? 
it's a ghost type move, so I guess it's not very uneffective. Alright, so we made it fruit up here. Is that the fruit we're going to grab? I don't know. Let's be careful while it's stomping here. Let's do a dodge whistle. Alright, uh, yes. Let's stomp it now. Hopefully this shouldn't take long at all. Oh, I thought I was already doing it. Okay, it was like doing it at the same time. We're gonna focus right here. There's like a better strategy. Wait for a slight like, tongue to happen, but yeah, especially if it's gonna be like that. Alright, there it goes again. Gonna try to do a little bit of damage instead of a third of its health. Make sure nobody's gonna be drowning. Focus right on here. This leg just gotta keep on re-crippling it, and eh, at least they're not moving around too much, so. Okay, I'm starting to drown now, so be careful about all that. My goal is to be done by about midday, just for a little bit of a better pace of handling this. Alright, I already got all the data files. So now we can attack it. We're gonna spray again, just to see how we can handle it. Alright, here we go. Kaboom! Let's see, are we gonna bring it down this cycle? Just uh, toss these guys a little bit of health. Come on, we can do it! I believe in it! Come on! Otherwise, it would do like a very big uh, slammy attack. I don't know, it's kind of strange. Well, I mean, there's doing that slam attack. Might just have only the tiniest little bit of health left there. Oh man, there's some drowning going on. And while we're still like this, let's try to handle this a little bit better. Yeah, if I go below like 80, I might try a reset. Just to at least get this fight out of the way. Uh, there's more drowning going on. Even closer to home. Alright, I'm not going to use any more sprays, because it doesn't even have that much left. Here we go! Let's zoom it! If it'll even not get stopped. I don't like those look of that thing. Yeah, you can like kind of go when it's that way, move counterclockwise. But anyway, we have defeated it. Not the best run, not the worst run. I've had plenty of bad ones in practice. Like, went down to 59 Pikmin from like one tongue sweep. And hey, it's the dude who I've already called by name, but you know, it's Captain All Louis Mar. I can't let him get away. The whole audience dramatic irony of the audience knowing that must be his spaceship, as we kind of already established. He nearly escaped with our fruit. What a scavenger! Or maybe he re-crashed it. I don't know. Let's get this disdainful scoundrel back to the Drake straight away. Dip, 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 straight away. Uh, we lost quite a lot of wings, and we got the Earth Mover, so we moved Heaven and Earth to defeat the Quagel Meyer Clops here in story mode. And as for the Blues, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we're still gonna hold on to them. Now I'm still like a minimum number, so can actually move along elsewhere. And 20 right there. I see, I see. That they're all saying, kind of seems like. Let's uh, read a little bit of this so we can get some stuff out of the way. Puckering blinnows, the weak hide. Definitely taking notes about them swimming in schools. These things don't play, you better get owl-tastic about it. And now for the next enemy, Spuddlefish, the inky dude that's all inkling-tastic. I guess every rose has its thorns and it does indeed look like a flower. The appearance look. Spuddlefish, Waddlepuss, very, uh, puss. Actually, that's a weird word to use. A sense of romance. Seven to carry. It's like I'm studying all this for myself. Toady Bloister being a three. Tail bulb carrying. Even the bobber like treasure that it drops on Pikmin 2. And Brittany has quite a lot to say there, even if it's a new line. But Charlie, not as much. Bogad Cromad, oh boy. Be prepared for that not being the only one we've seen so far. Just a little bit of a hunch. Get all that. Obviously, not big enough for all of us. Just like this town, and the Quagglemire Clops itself, 20 on its fruit-like protrusion that wasn't even the cantaloupe fruit itself, and it's got a lot to say, how it does. Best to haul things away. We've already defeated it, so why would we need strategy now? Maybe for a defeat boss's mission, you know? Sunsea Berry, it almost looks like one, but not really. How much sacrificing do I need to do for science? As we get all that out of the way very serene now. It's going to be even more serene if we were to come back on a later day. We definitely would like to. Whether it's tomorrow or not, I might even take a few days of a break from here. Just to give enemies a chance to come back because I feel like it. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just do all ten on that. Because it's only an eight to carry, but I'm going to bring it faster. Then have you guys right there. How many rocks do I have? Yeah, because I lost a few. Remember your data file there and you can go down to a hole on the other side on that if you feel like Pooping yourself up, even though there's no mural. Remember that while I was taken down. And as much as I got, I think I want to put my rocks away and trade them in for like reds, maybe. Yeah. Well, I mean, letting everybody else catch up. So we'll just have to see. I mean, yeah, there's these blues here. Sar, we're going to deal with that. And then I definitely. Oh, oh yeah, because of the amount we lost. <laughs> so how about ten reds? I should maybe 15, then the rest of them being blue. Just have a little balancing of numbers going on. 
bring everybody else with me. Our motley crew of 31, soon to be others. Uh, maybe also grab those blues as they catch up. Right there, like that. Very cool. And you can be problematic for things in our future, so I want to swarm you as much as I can. Yeah, not even any burning. Actually, it might have been a little bit last second there, but yeah. Uh, for one, I would like to have... Actually, I'll just bring everybody right here. In fact, I'll just go with the numbers I have. Actually, no. I think I might want to do that better, but... Mm, I just gotta think about it, you know. New fruit recovered. Alright. So, we got a couple fruits there. Some big deal. Some electric walls that can tie through. Like an in and out thing. Depending on how you want to handle it. And I think I might actually go without wings for this. Well, for one, I'm gonna do a little dismissal like that. Just to get the bag pushed out of the way. Seems like a weird kind of weight puzzle right here, but we don't even need to wait around too much with it. Hardy, hardy. Alright, gonna brunch everybody together. Gonna toss all our wings over there, because we got some dusk push jewels. Alf, you can chill with them over there. And then, do like that. Gonna get all you guys rest upon it. Then I'm just gonna have Alf automate over here. Oh, we got this. Almost hit the skip button very instinctively, but it didn't happen. I wonder if he's still in a go-here mode. We're seeing a transmission from the Drekachan. Hello, Drekachan. What you got for us? Grandpa bot. Analyzer recovered life form. Seems like it was moving up a little bit. Was it now known as, instead of the Hokitation, the Food Thief? The life form is in stasis. All those Breath of the Wild and other joke things with for sleep mode. Kind of the same stuff. Bing was in possession of 42 days' supply of juice, quite the meaning of life, and one soft final toy suitable for a toddler. Charlie's like, hey, why would you say that? I can't believe Arima stole our juice after we rescued him. And that was not all of them, <laughs> And he took the captain's rubber ducky. That monster. I know. Better have some answers for us when we make him up. Alright, is he in go here mode? I guess not. Must have got reset out of it, so let's have a elf catch up like that. And be prepared for what is to come after we spray ourselves. Because we got another bug eyed Cromaz. See, I told you to be prepared for it. We're gonna just attack all of its eyes and be ready for it to flip CD over. And toss to our reds. Let's see if we can one cycle this. I have a feeling it won't happen though. Even if we're adding all our reds, as long as we get past the halfway point. Let's see. What the? Okay, we were just barely so close out of it. It's like, are we gonna do this thing or what? Then, uh, usually we'd come out of the other hole. Good thing it's not another one, like a third bug I'd call mad. Come on, you can do it. Get on that little ice stalk and you're gonna flip yourself over. And now they're whanking away. And boom. Just like that. We've gotta get them out of the way. Four, five, no. Even gonna worry about that body, I don't think. It's like I just gonna not do anything. <laughs> now it's gonna get number six over there. Uh, is it going? Yeah. Also, something to worry about. Well, for one, there's a dirt pile over there. I think in the Wii U version it would be a data file, but nothing here. At least just pellets. Gonna see if I can get this out of the way. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. This, uh, Hermit Cromad. I think we saw one in the Tropical Wilds, because it is kind of by the base there. One, two, three, four. It's gonna get that going a little fast, and then. You guys can go for that as well. I'm just gonna take the other way as an actually no, I do not want to do that because I want to regrab my wing dudes. Just remember that it ties back together to nearby Brittany's little bucket situation. Alright, they're just putting it into the place, I think. The way the fruit was. Oh, I just need to catch up with my wings along the way. Come on, go, 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 gotta whistle them. Uh hopefully they're not going in screwed mode. Okay, anyway. Just gonna do that. And I want to trade a lot of Pikmin for some yellows. I don't know if I'm going to reset the stair or not, but we are on kind of good pace because we've got that other stuff and I didn't have quite as much to do as I did in practice. And for one, in practice, I hadn't even, even entered that secondary garden-like area. Let's see, we're going to put a lot of wings away. Let's get down to that much. But just have a lot of yellows for posterity's sake. For your posterior. Alright, now did any wings go over there? Yes, there was a couple it looks like. Might have to send them off last second just to get them grabbed. With some blues growing. Uh, Wally Wog, not really gonna be a threat. Um, I wish those skitter leaves went around so we can get them from the Piclopedia. But no bodies being showed up for it. Wait a second, I messed up my numbers. I need to return and get stuff. Because I, yeah, uh, I called them out, but I didn't actually, uh, get them going. Alright, we're probably about to get to the hurry up mode, but we're kind of on decent pace. Come on, yellows, I would like to have all of you with me, even though it's not even that big of a deal. It's so confused, I don't even know what I'm doing with my life. In fact, I could like do something of uh, growing some sprays, maybe take some rocks and just guard them along the way just to get it kind of built up. Yeah, in practice I hadn't even entered here because my weird pace for day two. Yeah, we're supposed to be like coming here right when they were about to finish, but 
it was all fine. Let's go ahead and get that going. More like Alf fine. Uh -huh. Alright, how do I want to handle this? I'm going to toss some yellows up there. Just one yellow. Then other crew members like that. Then we can go a few yellows at least. Kaboom, Eddie! Get all the way. No, 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 don't call them off. Uh, yeah. It's like always right here where I seem to mess up for some reason. Not really much on the Quagmire Clops fight unless I do have a lot die. Alright, I want to switch over to them. Because I do have a little bit of a puzzle I would like to deal with. Alright, we're not going to toss Brittany yet. We want to be careful not to do that. Then just get a few over for balancing. The balancing act. Some yellows. And then Brittany. We're going to see how much you can toss right there. Like this. Just weigh it down. Come on. There we go. It needs a certain number. Just get everybody right here. Because Brittany being up there is fine. And then, Charlie, I'm going to toss you up there. And... Uh, switch over to you. Make sure none of them get crazy a fight. Get them right on up there. Come on. As long as it balances me up. So I can get this here data file. All is fine. All is day. And I would like to use our wings to kind of sequence breakily grab that if they can. Come on, you can do it. I believe in y'all. Try to get as many as possible for the utmost speed of carrying. And then Brittany, I'm going to toss you to the side because I need to have you... Save those couple wings. Uh, might be one or two. Yeah, I see a couple overlapping dots. Just kind of guard this for the time being. Try to get more wings so we can have it go faster as well. Like normally you would have like all the moving puzzle happen, but it's easy to cheese it with wings. I just wanted to get the data files there. Speaking of data files, we got a little bit to look at. One for the bow guide chromat over here as I slowly make my way over to it. Belly is its biggest point. Attack its eyeballs and flip it over. All right, pretty basic. And then the area hints about all this. Quite the discovery with the three of us. If only I had a little more help other than Louis to get this mechanism going. I really wish the boss would answer us. Just because he's the president of Hakatate Freight doesn't mean he can just be on vacation all the time. Or is that exactly what it means? On the beach, like the picture of the uh, fog with volume that we talked about before. This time, for sure. The last time I visited this planet, it, I brought back so much treasure that it freed my employer from debt. So why do they send me here again? Oh well, nothing for it but to recover that ship as quick as I can. And then this to read. Probably just have to skip to the very bottom. Yeah, because of these guys to read. The peckish aristocrab. Rock Pikmin, yeah, because of its claw. It's almost as hard as that. Kind of like a crystal thing, but you can just focus on the main body. Even though some dudes got eaten. Hey, it looks like Tropical Wilds there. I think we did kind of see the one off in the distance. Eh, a lot of reading. Trapped in the bubbles, yeah, is another thing it can do. Like the, uh... Waddlepuss, it can trap your Pikmin in bubbles. Wouldn't want to use a lot of time for that, though. Great for Hot Pot. Oh, yeah, Louie. He now has his own set of reading to do. Great for Hot Pot. Remove the shell and cook legs in the hot broth. When they turn nice and red, pull them out and slather in liver paste before eating. <laughs> yep. That's the one of the best things about Piclopedia Pikmin 2. Louie's cooking notes and Olimar's scientific stuff. Hmm, if only there was an Olimar thing around with that mysterious unfilled NX there. <laughs> Melted milk chocolate, what? That'd be weird for crab glaze or something. Yeah, we could like have Louis do all that other reading, but not really too concerned with it. Alright, uh, well, definitely call you off, because I want to have you around. Then there's, yeah, you guys right there. I don't know if you're gonna make it quite in time, though. Oh, man, you're moving kind of slow, Brittany. I'm just gonna, well, yeah, they're in a screen transition. I don't know if they're gonna make it in time. I mean, I could have sprayed them. That would be a uh, fluke lead with five right there. I do need to be careful, make sure that they get back in time, because otherwise I might need to replace the say to have non that many uh, wings out of commission. Actually, are they close enough? Where are they? Oh, they're just now getting out of there. So I gotta be careful for it. Come on. Oh yeah, you guys are being problematic. Come on, get the missile and zero. <laughs> I have to take care of that Wally Wog whenever I come here next. If it's even tomorrow, because I actually would like to have uh, those skitterlies potentially be around later on, so I might uh, take a few day break from the Garden of Hope and maybe have one final day for finishing. There's not even that much stuff to finish. I could obviously do a lot of Pikmin growing next time we come around. Make sure all of our data files are nice and collected. Got all our murals, the one under the Myerclops Bridge, the one in the drain pipe, and then of course Brittany's bucket that I got way on day two. No Pikmin left behind. Yeah, it could have been faster about the fruit carrying and a little bit more automation, but uh, everything is fine. I mean, there was a little bit of death surrounding the Myerclops and that first Pekusha Bristol Crab. But all is fine, because we got a lot of fruit to make up for what we've lost, as well as getting our juice back in general. Hee <laughs> hee, new fruit, yes! Citrus Slump, another orange boy. Actually, was that the one that wasn't a tomato? Yeah, I guess so, because otherwise it'd be a tomato. 
Let's watch the juice fill in, then we're gonna go super zoom in time. Scaly custard. Um, uh, eggplant, I think it was? No, that's more vegetable. Avocado, yeah. Wayward moon. Oh, yeah. Very big boy that cantaloupe is going. It is cantaloupe, right? <laughs> Dust pustules. Or is it a melon? Stellar extrusion. I always get my fruits confused. Star fruit, gee, I wonder. We gather so much of the fruit of this planet. 25 styles. We'll be able to save so many people on our home planet with this. Very happy about it. And are we at 56 now? 57 almost. But we're gonna get back down. Wow, such a relief to have our juice supply back. After a day of nothing, even if we did grow up some fruit. Good, we still have plenty of juice left. Very cool. Even a nice buffer, even though we gotta split it with Louis, as we'd find out within the next day. Oh boy, 42 Pikmin lost, 16 were today, not a limit to sunset, because they got saved last second. I guess we can have a brief look at the play-by-play. -play. Switch, change the speed, move that going. If I were to do things better, well, I mean, for one, I would have had not so many die on the uh, Mario Collapse. I could probably have had some not die there. Oh, those wings that died. Build up the burning spider wart. Oh, well. Well, well, well. It seems I, uh... Oh, yeah, this uh, little clipboard thing. I gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, okay. Maybe on another day. But we'll have plenty of time. Pretty sure, uh... Everything I still need to do at the Garden of Hope can be squeezed into one day. Got the fruit there, very far off. Didn't really, uh, do the other exit, but don't really need to. Just had some things opened up. Not a bad day at all, despite the little bit of loss going on. But we're all still at 100 of each type of Pikmin, or more. So, overall, not horrible. Now, oh, oh man, of course, I even had a big old reminder for me to keep Charlie in front to see if I could have him read it. We managed to capture the thief Falamar, the Hokitation has been eluding us. Why am I writing so many data logs for myself when I have two co-captains or co-crew members? We retrieved our stolen food supplies, but boy was Brittany upset, and rightly so. After we all calmed down a bit, I started thinking that there was something fishy going on here. Even though there weren't really that many fish, aside from puckering blinos that I would have had to take care of in practice, but not here. We're going to get to the bottom of things. And get to the bottom of things we shall next time on Let's Play Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Gonna maybe have a little conversation with Louie or something. And be prepared for an eventual defeat boss's mission of the Quaggerhold Mired Clops. And overall learn about the whereabouts of Captain Olimar himself. And the Cosmic Tribe Key that he holds. Until then... Do not toast yourself, and remember, keep on a-plugging.